You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980. My name is Les Brown. I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy, and we're talking about raising teens. What's what's the best method that you're using right now that, that you know that's working? Or when you were doing it, when you were involved at that level, uh, what worked? How, how do you raise positive kids in a negative world? And, and let me share something with you. You know, there's it, this whole thing about parenting, it is so difficult. You know, kids, they're very smart. They'll play parents against each other. You know that. They'll, they'll play one against the other. And, and, and let me tell you what's really difficult. When you're going through a divorce, when you get a divorce, and being able to be present with the kids and have a relationship. And let me tell you what's really difficult, even more difficult than that. When parents trying to look good and 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 bad mouth the other one to keep themselves looking good and they talk about you like a dog and, and if there's anybody any level of consciousness knowing you can't go there you can't participate in that you've just got to be silent and hope that years later when they mature and grow they will understand and know but sometimes during that time period silence gives consent because if you don't say anything back to defend yourself then the belief is you're guilty. It's it's hard, isn't it? Being a parent, dealing with kids, it's hard, particularly now. And you give your best to, to them, and 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 then they curse you out and disrespect you, and you you wanna you wanna send them back for wherever they came from. <laughs> Mama said, "I I brought you here. I'll send you back." <laughs> Let me talk. Let me let me find out what's here. Hello, how are you, Don? Don Anaheim. You said raising kids with good Christian values. That's most important. And there's research to back that up. Don, talk to us. Tell us a story about what he feels is most important today. Okay. Hi, Les. Hi. Um, you know, first of all, I just wanted to tell you. You know, I I first heard you speak. Oh, at least maybe ten or twelve years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I enjoyed your message so much, and I try to catch up with you every time I can. In fact, I even got one of your books. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and um, I know one of the things when you say, one of the things I always remembered was, uh, you know, when life knocks you down. Try and land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. You can get up, right, yeah. <laughs> and I have quoted that many times to other people, and I've used it in my own life as well. Oh, thank you so much. Well, tell me, what have you done that you know that works in terms of the Christian values? Give, give me three of the best ones that you know that instilling that in kids as teenagers, it will help them to, to stay on the straight and narrow. Well, you know, my my daughter lost her mother when she was nine years old. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And I raised her until, uh, until adulthood, about 11 years, mm -hmm. myself. Yes. And... Um, Going to church was not an option. We went to church every Sunday, uh, and she was in church groups, church uh, children's groups, and uh, that was, you know, I think that was an important part of uh, her relationships outside of the church. Mm -hmm. Because she always she already had the values that was being instilled in her every week. Yes, I want you to talk about three values that if, that you can think about right now. Said as a parent, that you're very glad that she was able to become the embodiment of those three values. Integrity. Integrity. Uh huh. And uh, perseverance. Perseverance. Okay. And um, knowledge. And knowledge becoming and knowledge. knowledgeable. Yes. yes. Now, currently, right now, she's. She's in the Dallas Theological Seminary. Yes. Uh, to get her master's degree in theology. Fantastic. Now, what do you do, Don? Uh, I'm retired right now. You're retired. I mean, yeah. You sound too young to be retired. But you must. Was, you got to yeah, be refired. I was. In, uh, I, huh? was in, I was in um, IT actually. I'm kind of okay. semi-retired actually. Okay. So, what is the next chapter going to be like in your life for you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm still. Well, you know what? I'm still looking to do something. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm. I want to develop a website where I can uh, sell products on my website. Okay. So using so. technology now for this next chapter with your life. Exactly. Fantastic. Listen. Yeah. Thank you for, for raising a young lady that's an asset to our society rather than a liability. The mark of greatness is upon you, Don, and thank you so much for listening. Okay, got one, one, more, one more thing I wanted to say. Yes. Is, in addition to that, I involved myself in her life. Okay, you were involved you know, in her life. What do you mean by that? How were well, you involved? Well, I mean, she wanted to do, like, she was interested in music. She studied yes. the piano mm -hmm. for years, so I made sure she had that. Okay. And then she also uh, wanted to ice skate, so I made sure she got that. Mm -hmm. and, but I did these things with her. Oh, so and, you skated as well. Right. I yes. did these things with her, and then not only that, I um, made it 
her friends very comfortable at our home. Okay, so, so they felt good coming over to your house. Your house was a place to gather. Right. Yes. yes. So I think those things are important as well mm -hmm. as far as instilling positive values in children. And then not only that, when their friends come over, you can, you can kind of instill something in them too. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's major. That's good. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you for that. I'm sure, I'm sure there are people listening who's going to get a great deal of value from that and some who are still doing that right now. I appreciate you. Take care now. Listen, I want to hear from you. The number to call is 888-539-2980. 888-539-2980. What are you doing today that's making a difference in raising teenagers that will be a benefit to those that are listening? Kathleen, thank you so much for calling in. I, I want to know, wh what do you do as, as a parent that's working today? Well, one of the things that I did was to uh, teach my son about making decisions. Mm -hmm. So at six months old, I would hold up a jar of strained carrots and a jar of strained peas and let him decide which he wanted. Mm. He learned how to make decisions without suffering real serious consequences at that age. And uh, just to show how I reinforced it, when he was getting close to two and he started with no, 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 mm -hmm. I said, oh, let's go to Baskin-Robbins for some ice cream cones. And the first thing out of his mouth was no. And I said, oh, well, I thought you would have liked to have an ice cream cone, but it was your decision, so we're not going to go. Mm -hmm. And his jaw dropped. And after that, I could see that he would stop and think when faced with something and to think about the consequences uh, of his decisions. He's now an adult and he's trying to uh, let other people in his age group know that they have control over their lives mm -hmm. and that it's all up to them as to whether or not they're going to be happy or not. Mm, fantastic. That, that's that's good strategy, and you were very creative in doing that. Thank you so much for, for calling in and sharing that, and, and the mark of greatness is upon you. Thank you very much for listening to the program as well. That's great, Kathleen. She said at six months of age, she, she started teaching her child how to make decisions. That is so very important. Choices and consequences. Okay, let's go to line three. Hello, thank you, Jane, for calling in from Oak Park. What, what techniques and strategies are you using in raising teens? Uh, well, Les, first of all, I just want to tell you, you are amazing and wonderful and really, really appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, I'm a working mom. I have two teenage kids, and, of course, the guilt that goes along with that. But part of it, I think I'm just really lucky and have two really mm -hmm. wonderful kids. Yes. But I think since they were little, it's like giving them a foundation of spending time with them, bringing them to Sunday school and Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts and so they can, um, teaching them their morals, right and wrong, how to treat other people. Um, and I agree with your other callers, spending time with them, like we would go out and play paintball, because that's some, one of my kids loves doing that, and going to the amusement park and going on roller coasters and screaming on roller coasters. And, um, <laughs> and so we do every night, it's, I give the kids a hug, and I tell them, I love you. And especially with teenagers, sometimes the response is, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right, yes. But still giving them that constant, uh, I think, sense of security and know, so they know that they are loved, even on a bad day when they're kind of cranky and, you know, having rough times with things, just giving them that big hug and reminding them that they are loved no matter what. I think that goes a long way, too. Without any question. Listen, thank you so much for calling in and thank you for listening. Yes, you know, Jane is right. Making your kids know that they're loved no matter what. I kiss my sons on the lips as well as I kiss my daughters, you know, and, 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 uh, but I I noticed that when I would drive them to school, they would tell me to drive on the side of the building because they weren't going to get out of the car with me kissing them on the lips. <laughs> I said, Dad, can you drive us around the side? I said, why? You don't want your, your homies to see you kiss me? D just drive us on. Just let us out on the side, would you please? <laughs> they would kiss me real quick and jump out. <laughs> Listen, we're talking about raising kids and, and teenagers particularly. What do you know that works and that you're doing right now? Raising positive kids in a negative world. 
I don't believe it's negative. I just, it's what, whatever we create it to be. The number to call is 888-539-2980. That's 888-539-2980. I want to hear your story. I want to know what you're doing, what work, what's not working. 888-539-2980. My name is Les Brown. You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980.